dispose of this annoyance at once. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. As always, I'm dead. And new going forward today is Cave. Oh, sorry, I was jamming out to the trial music. <laughs> yeah, so... So yeah, it's been almost a year since I last played this after the previous break of like six months where I said, I'm going to try to record more. And yeah, but the main thing with it is just I started getting burnt out with this game, like this style of stuff in particular, and it was just not fun to record anymore. So, largely taking inspiration actually from a Pro ZD, I figured bring in a second person. And who better than Cave, the only other person I know who plays this that A, still records, and B, likes it. I'm obsessed with this franchise. I love this franchise. Never yeah, beat uh, the third game because, well, it got, it made me sad. It made me very, very sad, so I stopped. But I'm going to go back and beat the third game, eventually. Yeah. Maybe with Dead. Maybe I'll yeah. beat it with Dead. <laughs> yeah, because I, yeah, this game, cool, it might be sad. Fuck that, I'm gonna beat the game, I paid for it. But yeah, so the venture, so the plan, going forward as we hang on this image and do an amazing job starting this fucking game, um, it's going to be finishing off the back half of this, I believe, because we still have a few class trials left to go. This was trial three. Mm -hmm. uh, finish off this, do Ultra Despair Girls. Which I know not, I've never played that game. Yeah, I, all I've I know about it is like, I, I know every, I know all the trials and side shits for the first two games, and I know most of the cases for the uh, third game. Never touched Ultra Despair Girls. Yeah, what I know about it is that it takes is that it ha contains spoilers for both the first game and this game, and that you play as both Genocide Jack and Makoto's sister. So that's the thing. Yeah, and then we'll be moving uh, on. Sorry. I on. will be avoiding commenting during class trials anything that could be spoilery because I don't want to give away who the murderer is because I know who all the murderers are. Well, hopefully you avoid game. giving spoilers when we're not in the class trial stuff too. Well, yes. Yes, I will avoid spoilers, but it's going to be more difficult in the class trials because commenting on anything, I could accidentally give a spoiler for the yeah. class trial itself. Yeah, basically if I... If I get stuck, which I want to do because I'm an idiot, I'll probably end up asking Cave for help. Yeah. And then I'll be like, I don't know. Yeah, Figure so that it is out yourself. Yes, yeah, so that's like three minutes at the top of the game of just not moving. Hey, it's great music. It's okay. Yeah. So, uh, I guess as we go, we will put our stakes in on characters. <laughs> Pretty much the only one. Oh, you're gonna want me to voice characters? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be reading the dialogue. Okay. Yeah, I, I basically, pretty much the only person that I have considered locked down is that I'm playing our main boy. All right. Because, you know, I'm playing. You want me to do Monokuma? Uh, yeah, sure, go ahead. It seems your arguments have reached a conclusion, so let's proceed to our regularly scheduled voting time. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. I didn't have to voice that one. The Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong? Let's go! Oh, I guess it... Oh, right, I had chosen who I... I had chosen the right person, but I hadn't actually gone through this side of it yet. Yeah, it was Mikan. Who hanged a person and then also bludgeoned a child. Given how long it's been since the last episode, go rewatch the uh, last episode. I'm sure that'll explain everything because, you know, that's how these games work. Yeah, they're pretty sequential. So, Cave? Now then, though it may be obvious at this point... Correct! You got it right once again! That's like three in a row! That's right, the true identity of the horrifying black and who killed two girls was Mikan Sumiki! Damn it. I apologize for any mistranslation, mis mispronunciations. Yeah. yeah you, I'll take her. You gotta yeah. be shitting me. Are you saying Mikan, the one who nurtures back to health, was the one who killed them? I won't forgive you. Don't joke around with me, Mikan. Did you lie to us all along? 
Were you planning to kill them from the start while you were nursing them? I mean, laugh. <laughs> yeah, ha 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 ha. Don't just laugh, say something! This is going nowhere! What's going on? This, this chick! Hey, hey. He's nothing like Pekko. She's actually gone mental. I was initially doing the very high-pitched New Yorker voice, but then I, that, it got annoying, so I stopped. So I'm just doing regular New Yorker form. All right. That's obvious. There's nothing we can do. She's no longer the same person. She's no longer the Mikan Sumiki we knew. Uh-huh. Hey. Based on my predictions, she might have caught it, too. She probably had the despair disease. Which was the motive for this case? Not gonna lie, for the for the majority of the trial, what actually, or the majority of the investigation, what I actually thought happened was because uh, Tsubuki, the uh, musician girl, uh, because she was like highly susceptible, what I thought happened was someone locked her in the, like the uh, venue and then just asked her to kill herself. Hmm, that's actually very believable. Yeah, because like her thing was just like she was just completely trusting. It would just do whatever you told her. So it's like, hey, cool. You want to help people? Kill yourself. What? Mikon too, you say? I love voicing Gundam. Gundam's a great character. I love Gundam Tanaka. I know because I was looking at Mikon for so long. She was the one taking care of me, after all. My consciousness kept drifting, but even so, when I did catch a glimpse of her, her expression was. Full of despair. A despair so devoid of hope that not even a single fragment of it remained. H hold on. Did you say Mikan also had the despair disease? Well, fucking duh. Then that means she was... What? Huh? Hajime? Has something crossed your mind? <laughs> right. My body's heavy. Mom's spaghetti. No, not just heavy. It's something soft and really illegal. I didn't give consent. <laughs> that's, that's right. right. That's oh, me. sorry. That's you. Yeah. That's right. Mikan felt sure at that time. Now that I think about it, that must have been a high fever, just like what Ibuki and Akane had. It cannot be. Then because of that disease, Mekon was... Perhaps? The symptoms that she surely felt must have been deserving of the name. Despair disease. Losing all hope and harboring despair for all hope. Because of the despair disease, she was likely overcome with despair. Huh, you don't fucking say. See? That's the reason why she can still laugh in such a hopeless situation. <laughs> well, I got the money's worth of that laugh. Translation, bitch be crazy. <laughs> Jeez. Which means Mekon, the Mekon standing before us is no longer the ultimate nurse. She's a completely different person now that she's been infected by the despair disease. Wait, are you saying she was infected by the despair disease? Is that right? She's a human who deserves to be called the ultimate despair. I'd, I'd pause that now. I don't think that's how that works, dude. <laughs> ultimate despair. That sounds marketable. <laughs> Bitch, will you say something other than cackle? Or die. We can't voice you if you don't. Just I... one of the two. That's the reason why I cannot forgive this. You're making him very snake-like. Yeah, he always felt serpentine and snaky to me just because of the way he acted. He always felt, he felt like Snape is what he felt like. Yeah, he felt I like always... a Snape who was happy all the time. I always felt like I always felt that he was like Dark Universe Makoto. We each have our own interpretations of the character. Yeah. 
I mean, killing someone for the sake of despair instead of for the sake of hope. Possible. There's no way I can forgive that. It's the exact opposite of my motives in the first trial. Yeah, it's activating my squiggly sharing gun. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I've, 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 I've been doing her for. I've been doing her voice. This is, this is gonna be a terrible voice. For the sake of despair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I don't have to do her voice for too long. <laughs> wrong? Wrong? What's wrong? What I did was for the sake of my beloved. The best part is huh? Dad's voice was not that far off. Huh? Huh? Uh, who, who are you talking about? <laughs> if only they were still alive, they'd be so happy. I know. Oh, this took a turn. They never hated me. They <laughs> forgave my existence. They forgave me and accepted me. They gave me value. They loved me. I loved them with all my heart, and they returned it in full. And then I ate them. This is... You're not that far off, Jet. <laughs> it gets really fucking dark in the outside of the main story shit. <laughs> I understand that I've done something unforgivable. I don't. I don't know why, but this voice is making me laugh now that another person's here. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm helping. Just fully expected to wake up and just like, what happened? <laughs> but you know, but you know, to transcend all of that is truly love. What love is all about. Hey. I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> There's something on the wing. <laughs> yeah, I did go a little bit Shatner there. <laughs> you don't understand. Is it because you don't have anyone to love, virgin? Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Is it because you're also someone who isn't accepted by anyone? <sighs> what a pity. I feel sorry for you. Go cry in r slash incel, nerd. Dot, dot, dot. Even if I say this, I'm sure no one here would understand, but love is a wonderful thing. If it makes the heart sing? Anyone else about clams? <laughs> uh, only when she falls over. <laughs> uh, this feeling of freedom where you no longer care about anything. My beloved and I are the only ones within that thin veil. And I'm just looking out through it. <laughs> That's why, as long as I'm on the inside, no matter how much they tease me, splash me with water, kick me. Just let me look at my copy of Magical Girl site for more bullying things. Ah, how amazing. It's like nothing matters. I could just die. That's how little it matters. Sick. Pull the lever. <laughs> Or we keep doing this for 17 minutes. <laughs> oh, I mean, it is a visual novel. Uh huh. But, like, we already know it's her. Yeah. Who cares about hope or despair? It's love. Only love. Could it be? Nagito, is this really the despair disease you were talking about? Jaw, dude. <laughs> this is. It seems that. I was wrong. Not only was she affected by despair. You were half right. It's right to say this is all thanks to that disease. Because, thanks to that disease, I was able to remember my beloved. R remember? <laughs> Apparently that's what my symptom was. <laughs> what a wonderful symptom. Which means you had the remembering disease. <laughs> That's right. As the name suggests, it's a disease that makes me remember. But... But if this means she remembered something and ended up like this... She despaired. 
Are you saying you were like this from the start? Were you like this before you even came to this island? But don't get so angry. Bitch, I'll get angry. You murdered two people. Well, yeah, but... Like you set up more murders. Well, first True. of all... The reason I became like this wasn't my fault. It was all your fault, you know? Ha <laughs> ha. Because... It's not like I'm entirely responsible for turning out like this. I'm the person I am today because of many human relationships. And several hamster relationships. Hamsters. Oh, God. So, it's everybody's fault that I turned out like this, you see? <laughs> if you just let me into the public domain, I could live. Even so, <laughs> oh, fuck. the current me was most strongly influenced by my beloved's existence. I don't know why I gave her a Mickey Mouse voice. I think I started out with her, like, like when I was voicing it myself, I started out going like, oh, like that voice. Mm -hmm. But then it just morphed well, into Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse voice. And it was also my beloved who created the me that everyone can't forgive. But my beloved still forgives me and still accepts me and is still here in my shirt. <laughs> Just opens it up as Quato. <laughs> Sorry, Hajime. <laughs> that is the key difference between all of you and my beloved. Don't fuck with me. Like I said, who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you still need a couple minutes, Hajime. Catch up. <laughs> you need someone to reread the transcript <laughs> in order to tell them exactly yeah. what happened. We have the chat logs. She's the real Mikan? Mikan, please answer me. Did you really remember? You ended up like this. All because you remember it? There's no way I can believe that. I still don't fully understand it. There's no way the person you are right now is the real Mekon. <laughs> oh, you still doubt me? Then, to prove I remember, I'll tell you all something nice. <laughs> it's about that World Ender organization that you were all worrying about. Are you serious? <laughs> Not no, I just remembered, that's all. I knew about it all along. How that horrifying organization known as World Ender, we're a bunch of bitches, is also the organization known as the Future Foundation. Oh. See, this is something that confuses me. Okay. Because, like, having done several deep dives into the lore at this point, I still don't understand how this is, like, possible. Like, I think I need to do another deep dive into the lore of the world to figure out how World Ender and the Future Foundation are the same thing. Okay, I don't know what I... either of those are. Uh... So I guess we'll get into it as the game progresses. You'll find out more about the Future Foundation and Ultra Despair Girls. Okie doke. And Future we're probably going to have to do a watch through of the anime. Yeah, we will be. we've played Ultra Despair Girls. Yeah, we will be, because that, like, wraps up this arc. Mm -hmm. Before moving on to the three arc, it's like... Future Foundation, the Matt Fraction book. I really love the Future Foundation. They were the no replacement. What you're talking about. They were the replacement for the Fantastic Four when they went into space. Oh yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, my back. Yeah, it was, it was the it was the like almost pure white Spider-Man suit. Oh yeah, I remember that now. Just looking like Mister Knight, fly as fuck. Future. Foundations? That's right. The symbol on the ancient ruin's door. That's right. It was the Japanese word for future, which I have to specify because I'm speaking English. Uh, I love dots, that. Dot, dot, dot. It's, it's this great thing, like, just in translating these games. Could you imagine, like, can you imagine, like, any American or, like, like English-speaking project 
being like, oh, yes, it has the English word for future on it. I kind of want to do that if I ever make a video game. Just make it the it's most like, anime thing ever, but it's all originally in English. No, 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 no. Have it natively be in English. But every time someone sees like an English written word, they're like, ah, one of the ancient languages. You know what I mean? Yeah, like what I want to do now is write out a project and then rewrite it as a localization. <laughs> that might be fun. That might be fun. Hit us up, game devs. <laughs> Just, what is the Future Foundation? What are they planning? As the name suggests, the, that organization is the World Ender. The Future Foundation <laughs> is trying to end our world, thus securing the future? To put it simply, they're trying to claim the world for themselves and decided you know, on a fucking bear future. mascot for some reason. This is bad. What? the heck? This isn't a comic book, you know? <laughs> Pretty close. As as part of their plan to end the world, the Future Foundation brought us to this island. Hmm. Isn't that right, Monami? You're voicing Monami. Pardon? Oh, you cut out there for a second. I couldn't hear you. You're doing Monami. I'm doing Monami? Yeah, I'm doing Monokuma. They play off each other too much. Uh huh? I, I knew it. Monami, Monokuma. They're both members of that crazy organization, aren't they? <laughs> Monami and I aren't members. I am Monokuma. My existence is entirely my own. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. Hey, Mikon, if you really do remember then you already know, right? You know the true identity of the traitor hiding among us. Amogis? He said the name of the king! Don't be any solicitor. Oh, of course I know that. Let's see. The future foundation lackey that's hiding among you all is... Huh? Oh, well, no one really cares about that, don't you think? <laughs> of course not! Oh, hell no! You'll find out eventually, so there's no need to be in, be so impatient. <gasps> oh, she just spoilers us. <laughs> yeah. Probably when that countdown ends. Countdown? Final you, Crisis? You even know about that? Oh. What do you mean, no? About, it's a big old fucking... <laughs> you, you can't He's miss it. suggesting that she knows what's going to happen when the countdown runs out. Uh... I don't think about that. Huh? I have a feeling that's what it is, but who cares about that, you know? I'm drowning in I'm so much to love. I'm die, so fuck it. I'm drowning in so much love. From the bottom of my heart, I just don't care about anyone or anything. Not even my beloved. That is... Mekon, is this really you? I thought we established this already. <laughs> I, I, I won't believe it. There's no way I can believe you. There's no way I can believe... You were like this all along. Because if that's true, then who's the person we've been spending time with up until now? The past. P -p past. The Future Foundation, go! <laughs> that person, she didn't exist in the beginning. She's just my past self who lost her school memories. Okay, this continues to confirm my theory that anime high schools breed sociopaths. Because <laughs> if, if she murdered people after reclaiming her memories of high school. <laughs> <laughs> you guys consider that thing a friend. Oh, uh, oh Mekon here. Yeah. That doesn't make me happy at all. She says, hiding behind a table leg like Chopper. It just fills me with despair. Give her a keyblade. <laughs> you guys accepted my past self, but not my present self. Th that's. Well, your well, present self that is applies a to you all as well. <laughs> Qu'est-ce que c'est? <laughs> memories of people, memories of events, whatever memory it is. Losing memories are. Do you understand? Like losing your personal identity. 
Memory is the most important component in building a person, don't you think? Losing your losing your memories makes the shadows of the past. Don't you think? Will you give me a chance to respond? I don't even know what you're trying to say, but... In the end, it always leads back to that story. That story about our stolen school lives. Hey, hey! So, it was true all along? Our memories were taken away? If it wasn't true, we wouldn't be suffering this much. <sighs> well, why don't you just take your sweet time and remember at your own pace? Oh, oh Monica! Is it all right for you to start now? Yes, indeed. Punishment time? Damn it. <laughs> I, don't, I know it's supposed to be more desperate, but just like, damn it. Why? <laughs> Mikon, why does it have to end like this? This is too pointless. No, it's to stop the Disney Corporation from suing us for using a Mickey Mouse voice. <laughs> <laughs> you just get an email. What happened? <laughs> this is too much. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. So it's over. It's really. Now I can go to my beloved, who always forgives me. Is it Jesus? No, it's not Jesus. I can finally see them. Please forgive me. Because she's talking like an Ahago Christian girl. I hope of finally seeing you. <laughs> Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Yay! <laughs> I literally had an image of Monokuma doing the Kermit arm wave. <laughs> yeah. It's punishment time! Yeah! I do kind of like how for the second one they did change up, uh, I think I mentioned this before, but they changed up like the, uh, dragging away graphic and made it all like, made it all like the fucking, uh, like, virtual boy for whatever reason. Yeah, that's fun. This is one of the weirder punishments. And that's saying something. Yeah, yeah it is. And it's, it's mostly the way Mikon reacts to being punished. Yeah, she's... Fucking coming. Enjoying it a little too much. Is this her beloved fisting her? Yes. Did they have that kind of relationship? No. But they but she wanted it to be that kind of relationship, I'm sure. Also, where did those buildings come from? Just everyone is just wildly uncomfortable. I love how, like, we've got, like, two people grinning like madmen. We've got Nagito and uh, Racer Boy, Yellow Jumpsuit. They're both, like, smiling over what happened. Yeah, yeah Kazuichi's just like, meh. <laughs> Something finished. <laughs> I was about to make the same joke. <laughs> Yes, can't you smell All it? All over space. The killer who killed Ibuki Miyota and Hyoko Sionji was Mikan Sumiki. And she's been quote unquote executed. She apparently committed her crime because she was afflicted by the despair disease. So what? What's finished? Mikan. Her? Mekon finished. Yeah. Nobody wanted it to end this way. She rode the rocket. <laughs> Let me ask. Who was that Mekon from earlier? Was that her true form? Or is that itself a symptom of the despair disease? Damn it. It doesn't matter either way. If she ended up like that just from remembering then all along, M Mikan was never worth being a symbol of hope. What? Even if her words were influenced by the despair disease. If the disease turned her into that. If she lost herself to a simple disease, she was definitely unworthy of being a symbol of hope. Isn't that right? Dick. So, let's just move on. <laughs> 
Come on! Let's take all this despair and change it into hope. Please wait! Th that, that's impossible! Uh. I mean, I thought we were friends this whole time. But even so... Like a house of cards collapsing in an instant. In the end, our friend we thought we knew ended up showing us a completely different side of herself. Hajime, would you from... stop writing your noir novel for five minutes? <laughs> <laughs> and there she was, legs to die for. <laughs> Riding a rocket fist into space. That's not a euphemism. My either. god. <laughs> you know, that was completely literal. The back half of the book got written by the got written by the people who write Riverdale. <laughs> then she vanished behind then she vanished from our sight, leaving behind only her mouse toward us and a slight wet stain on the carpet. <laughs> Ain't no slight about it. It it dried a bit. We've been talking for a while. <laughs> and now there's no way we could just move on or try to have a clear cut attitude about these feelings. It's clearly impossible. Damn it. I'm gonna go get drunk. It would have been so much easier if she was the traitor, too. Wrong. Too bad that's not the case. Mekon was not the traitor. Come on. The traitor is still alive. As proof, see how fine Monomi looks right now? Ooh. Tasty. Okay. I can't remember the voice I gave her earlier. Fuck. <laughs> I'm, I'm not fine at all. Hmm? But if the traitor died, you wouldn't be this calm, right? I mean, you're both pawns of the future foundation. So you guys are like two hearts beating as one, right? You fiend. What does that make you, fiend? You did say that you're different than Monami. I'm way better. Who cares about who I am? More important, I'm tired. The drama just kept going and going, and I didn't stop you guys from talking. I didn't even have time to eat my black bean uh, right eye during the break. <laughs> that right was a sentence and a half. Beans? That was a uh, sentence and a half. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry, that's I keep I keep slipping back into the, the same voice. Your right eye is made out of black beans. Oh, fuck hey, it. Hey. Wait, now's not the time to focus on that. What are you trying to say? Hey, um. I am bad at this. You know, isn't it sad that life has its ups and downs? It's fun because the downs come after the ups, but if life was full of downs, wouldn't it get boring? <laughs> so, in order to help you guys feel better, I've prepared a special event. A special event? <laughs> Head over to the First Island's beach. An old friend will be waiting there. <laughs> old friend? Huh? Could it be Nekamaru? Hey! Is it? It is, isn't it? Nekamaru was safe after all? Hmm. Um, safe. How should I say this? Say this. Hmm. I knew it. I knew that crazy bastard Nekamaru would come back to us in one piece. <laughs> awesome! We're starting to see the light of hope! Um. The light of hope. Um, I'm happy Nekomaru is returning to us, but, but I... So just as I thought. Three of our friends just died, so I honestly cannot be happy. Hmm. <laughs> Miss Sonya. Oh right, you activated my empathy. I forgot that just happened. However... <sighs> Even so, I am still happy. If Nekomaru is safe, I am truly happy. And Monica was in the corner. Y'all keep bantering around this safe word. <laughs> if you are happy, you should honestly greet him with open arms. Perhaps those who have been taken from us would do the same if they still lived. Huh. A supreme overload of who gives a shit. That line doesn't suit you at all. Science. I shall crush you into dust. Ibuki, Hiyoko, Mikon, can you hear us? If you are unhappy, I apologize. However, please forgive me for right now. I... I want to warmly welcome Nekamaru when he returns to us. You don't have to worry, Sonya. I'm sure your feelings are reaching them. 
Right? Then let's go greet Nakamaro. Let's make it grand, even for those who have died. <laughs> uh, what the heck? Do I still have the after effects of that disease? Uh, I don't get this at all. Uh, can we be practical here? We just lost our medic. Like... Do we really want to be able I to have to trust him for our medical care? <laughs> like, just, right. just being real here. It's all fine. Alrighty all we gotta, then, yeah. let's go! All we gotta do is not get sick ever. It works in America, I've heard. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh. America's oh, health care system. <laughs> no. Please, let's not talk about that. Nekamaru yeah. is coming back. When we heard that, we were unable to contain uh, guys, our excitement as we jumped no in the elevator. At no point did he say it was Nekamaru. Not a single fucking time. Like, A, <laughs> like, you kept assuming he was safe, and B, you kept assuming it was Nekamaru. Like, he could have just puppeteered a corpse or something for your amusement. That is the kind of shit Monokuma would do. No, you just get back to the first island and it's just a grave so it just says, here lies Nekamaru. <laughs> hey, you reunited with oh. him. He, he did. He did. Uh -oh. Man, they ran off without listening to what I had to say. Jeez, they're so impatient. Didn't they learn to stick around until others have finished talking? Have you met them? True. Um, what, 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 what does that mean? Hey. You, you're plotting something again, aren't you? I'll, I'll stick to one voice Always, eventually. Bitch. No way! I'm not plotting anything. I was just trying to properly explain everything to them. Including... Nekamaru's body. <laughs> huh? Nekamaru's body? <laughs> it's their fault for not sticking around until I finish talking. <laughs> so if something happens because of that, I bear no responsibility. <laughs> oh, you, you. What did you do to Nekamaru? What's this? What did I do? I saved him, that's all. I mean, if I didn't do that, there's no way I could have saved someone who was that close to death. So it just couldn't be him. <laughs> oh, I love you. voicing Monokuma. I always have the biggest smile on my face when I'm voicing him. You wascally wabbit, you. As soon as we exited the elevator, we started running. Hurry! To the beach of the first island! Right. Let's haul ass! Even though our minds were completely exhausted, strangely enough, our bodies felt light. Must be the drugs that he gave us. Yeah, either that or the hypoxia. Without stopping for anything, we kept we kept right on running toward the beach on the first island. Ah, yeah. oh, that teenager energy. Where, where in the world is Nakamaru? Hey, Nagamaru! Show yourself! Listen! We have come to pick you up. Please hurry up and come out of hiding. We raised our voices. We looked around the area. We raised our voices again. We looked around the area again. And so on and so forth. We kept looking for him. But... Hey, hey! What the hell, man? He's nowhere to be found! Could it be? Do we get false info from Monokuma again? And that's when it happened. We heard a familiar voice echo throughout the beach. <laughs> what happened? Were y'all looking for me? Could it be? The that voice! It's coming from the monkey. <laughs> With high hopes in our hearts, we turned toward the direction of the voice. And then we saw something truly unbelievable. Huh? What the? Yo! I've kept you waiting! Solid snake! <laughs> hey! What's going on? Perhaps you don't remember my face since we haven't seen each other in a while. That's I love sad, how crappy you know? everyone That's is drawn much. in this. <laughs> yep. 
Um, who are you? Huh? You too? What's going on? If you're messing with me, I'll stop doing it to you. Oh. He's got a new massage function, too. Um, Nekomaru? Haven't you noticed it yourself? What do you mean, noticed? I haven't walked by anything reflective in like seven hours. Oh, you mean this body? <laughs> this is nothing. I know, I love Nekomaru. Come on, just have it be a toaster. The name's Nekomaru Nijai. I've been reborn in the rivers of hell. I wish he had said reforged. I'm yeah, trying to remember. I'm trying to remember what the fuck that goddamn anime is. It's like the weird, like, surrealist high school comedy where, like, one of the students is a gorilla and the other one's Freddie Mercury. I have no idea what you're talking about. Because this guy kind of looks like a character uh, from that. Seizure warning, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't. Your Sony is looking. Yeah, his new massage function, it works really well. <laughs> oh, I thought Sony was looking directly into his eyes. It was causing seizures. <laughs> yep, he just gave Sonya a quick massage. <laughs> <laughs> so that was his fist, okay. <laughs> oh god, Gantz is activating. <laughs> Chapter 3, we passed it, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Dang Gampa. Uh, fun fact for you all, uh, Danganronpa apparently means something along the lines of an argument over a bullet. <laughs> Hence the truth bullets. Okay. Well, that's neat. Yeah. And that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, hopefully, with Cave uh, being on my ass because he actually wants to play this. Oh, I enjoy. I love this game, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bug him until you know at the very least until we get to Ultra Despair Girls. Yeah, we will be keeping going with this, doing more of that. But until then, I'm dead. And I'm Cave. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Have a wonderful time. Excuse me while I whip this out.